So here we have a table showing the number of, uh, a number of survey subjects, um, who have received and not received a speeding ticket, uh, in the last year, and the color of their car. Uh, and we're gonna find the probability that if we were to choose one of these people at random, that they've have a, had, that the person has a red car and got a speeding ticket, and then secondly, has a red car or got a speeding ticket. Now, if you look at the table here, there's basically four different categories. Here we got speeding ticket and red car, sp no speeding ticket and red car, speeding ticket not red, no speeding ticket not red. And then we have totals for each of the, um, columns, totals for each of the rows, and then the total total, uh, of everyone surveyed. So, for the first question, where it says, has a red car and got a speeding ticket, how many people got both had a red car and got a speeding ticket. Well, in this case, there are 15 of them. So 15 people both had a red car and got a speeding ticket. Out of how many total people? Out of 665 total people. So that's the probability of having, uh, a red car and getting a spe speeding ticket. Now, these are dependent events, and so we really have to work off the table. It would not be correct to find the probability of having a red car, the probability of speeding, and just multiply them. Now, how about for the next one? So here we're trying to find the probability that they have a red car or getting a, got, get a speeding ticket. Now, there's a couple ways that we could go about this. Um, the easiest, honestly, is to just add up all the possibilities. So, let's see here. These people got a speeding ticket. These people have a red car. So we have a total of 45 plus 15 plus 135, uh, is 195 total people who either got a speeding ticket or have a red car. And so our probability would be 195 out of 665. Now, we could have also done this the sort of longer formulaic way and said, well, let's look at the probability that they got a speeding ticket. That's 60 out of 665. And let's add to that the probability that they have a red car. That's 150 out of 665. And then subtract the duplicates, right? Subtract those that have both, right? Our end probability here. Uh, and if we do this, we'll get exactly the same answer. Uh, but when, when we have a small table like this, it's probably just as easy to just count up the possibilities.